Running stitch is probably the most versatile utility stitch. It's used in all different kinds of sewing. In dressmaking, it can be used for seams and for basting. It can be used in mending and darning. And in quilting, it can be used in piecing and for quilting the layers of the quilt together. But running stitch is often overlooked as an embroidery stitch. So today, I'm gonna to show you how to use running stitch as an embroidery stitch, show you some fun variations of it, and give you some ideas of how to use running stitch in your next embroidery project. Welcome to EBITDA Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pojogi, and embroidery. So running stitch is not often thought of as an embroidery stitch, but sometimes it is a perfect choice. When would you want to use running stitch in an embroidery project? The obvious time to use it is any time you would want a dotted line. So this could indicate a fake perforation or it can be used to show movement. It can be used as a border or in geometric designs, but variations of running stitch can also be used to make a solid line. So this makes it great to use for lettering or for outlining shapes. And running stitch can also be used as a filling stitch. So anytime you want to fill a shape with light color density, running stitch can be used to do that or for things like shadows. So once you get started using running stitch, you'll think of a lot of other ways that you can use this in your pieces. So you can see running stitch used in a few pieces that I have here. This is my motif sampler. And so you can see I had the same motif in all different stitches, but this one is running stitch. So you can see I outlined the motif in one color and then I did filling with another color. This is my house embroidery. And in this case, I used running stitch to do this tree trunk. And I also used one strand of running stitch in the windows. So you can see the single strand is showing curtains in behind the windows. I also used a wrap running stitch, which is a fun variation, to do this monogram on this napkin. So you can see that there's lots of options for using running stitch. For more detail on those projects, you can check out the link below. There are two different ways to do the basic running stitch. The first method is to do a few stitches at a time by rocking the needle back and forth. With practice, you will be able to do many stitches at a time very quickly and evenly. This is the method often used in garment making and quilting. A thimble can help control the needle. If you have trouble with the rocking method, you can always do running stitch with the stabbing technique. This is where you do one stitch at a time. It is helpful when you want your stitches to be in an exact spot. You might want all your stitches to be even, or you might want to vary the spacing. You can have stitches and spaces the same size or one larger than the other. Your stitches could be different lengths to give some fun effects. Once you're familiar with the basic running stitch, you can use the variations of wrapping and lacing. Wrapping is using another thread between the stitches. The thread does not pierce the fabric, it just floats on top between the fabric and the stitches. The needle goes through the stitches in the same direction each time. You can use the same color thread or contrasting color. Lacing is similar to wrapping, but in this case, the direction of the needle alternates. This gives a very different look. Again, you can use a single color or multiple colors. For more details about wrapping and lacing, see the videos on those techniques. To see more samples of running stitch variations, you can check out my running stitch playlist, and this shows a bunch of different variations. To learn how to do basic embroidery stitches, including running stitch, you can check out my ebook, Simple Embroidery, or my online class, Introduction to Embroidery, and details about this can be found below. For more help making beautiful quilting pajagi embroidery, be sure to check out ebudastudio.com.